Well, greetings and welcome to this brief training tutorial on entering quantitative data collected using a survey into a usable database uh, and specifically Excel. Here for this example is we have some training evaluation forms completed on 49 individuals and so here we are assuming data has already been collected and so the process now is taking a survey that has data completed and formatting it and entering it into a usable database. One of the first steps you want to do is add an ID number to each survey and oftentimes we can just do this by doing using the number of total surveys that we may have enabling one, two, here we have three already entered Four. And for didactic purposes, we're just going to stop here at five, but we'd want to label all the way up through the total number of surveys we have, and in this case, 49. And the second thing we want to do is once we have an ID number on each survey, and this is all for our paper trail so we can track and monitor what data we have entered, is we want to come up with a coding scheme for the items. And so here on our survey, we had nine items that asked participants of a training the degree to which they agreed with certain statements regarding the effectiveness of the training. So individuals had nine items to rate and on a scale of strongly disagree to strongly agree. And so what we need to do is code both the items and the response options. And for surveys, typically we can just do an I1 for item one I2, I3, all the way up through the number of items we have, in this case, I9. Ideally, you want to keep variable names short and concise. And so, for example, if you collected race ethnicity, you probably just want to give a variable name just called race. So when you're coming up with the variable names, you want them to be one short word with less than eight characters. And for the response options, instead of typing in strongly disagree, disagree, agree, strongly agree. Since this is going to be quantitative data where we're going to want to calculate descriptive statistics uh, such as the mean, the median, or the mode, or measures of variability such as the standard deviation, we want to label them on a some kind of rating scale, in this case an ordinal rating scale of one, two, three, four, going from lowest to highest so when we want to put it into Excel, we can just use the numbers. So in this case, in this example, is once we have the numbers for each survey, the response options and the items, <coughs> all the variables coded, the next step is to open up Excel to start generating the database. And here we have the first column is ID, and that's for each of the individuals. So in this case, we have 49 individuals. And so we're going to want to create a column that we can report the responses for whoop, all 49 people that completed the survey. And so in Excel, what I just did is I started 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then you just drag the cursor down to the number of rows and you hit just fill series with the right click and that'll fill in the number of people that you want. Here you can see at the top I1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through 9 is that's the variables for the data in which we've collected. Here we've only have data collected on 9 items and so if you had data collected on sex you could also put that in here, race, age, years teaching, etc. The first step then is then is once the data has the variable labels have been identified, the number of subjects, and we've saved the file, is we just start with the first individual and put in their data. And so here based off our coding, this person indicated agree, agree, disagree, agree, agree, disagree, and agree for the last three items. For the next person then, 
And notice how I'm not putting in the information for the open-ended responses here um, because that's going to fall outside the type of work I'm going to do, but that can be entered into a uh, Microsoft Word document. Here for the second person, they didn't answer item one, but they did answer agree across the other items. And so I'm centering that. And the aim now is just to continue going through and entering the data that has been collected. So in this case, just want to double check. Three, three, two, three, two, two, three. <coughs> Whoop, and then a one and then the last one was left blank so we would just keep doing this until all the data has been entered until we have a usable database so this ex this concludes this video tutorial module on the process by which you enter data that has been collected on a survey labeling each survey and labeling the responses and recoding the variables so that you can generate and have a usable Excel file for subsequent data analysis in Excel or you could easily import this into another statistical software package to analyze the data such as SPSS. Subsequent modules will look at and explore the use of different statistical packages to analyze this data. Thank you.